A Lesson 7 Comp 3, and I'm going to hit U, select Minute Layer, and hit U, and see that we've got two keyframes set that moves this clock one revolution. And basically we want to uh, tie our hour and our second hands to that, so I'm going to click on the that layer, hold down the Shift button, click on the next layer, and hold down R. And that will reveal those. And first thing we're going to do is I'm going to hold down the Option Alt button and click to create an expression. And we are going to tie that to the minute hand rotation. And let's click out of it and see what happens. So we see that it's tied to it, but it's not behaving like a minute hand. And so we are going to get into this expression and go divide by 12 and click out of it. And now it behaves like a minute hand going all the way around once. Let's do the same with our second hand. I'm going to hold down the Alt Option button and click on it. And we are going to take the pick whip and we're going to tie it to the rotation button in the minute to make that the master. And we see that our second hand is behaving like the minute hand. And so we are going to get down into this expression and we are going to go times 60. And then we see that it acts is acting like a second hand. All right. So that part's working. Uh, we also have in this comp two backgrounds. We've got alien atmosphere, which is this cloudy fella right here. And we also have this ugly orange and green background. And what uh, we're going to do next is use a radial wipe to reveal that background. So with alien atmosphere chosen, we're going to type in radial up here so we can find it. And that's going to bring up our radial wipe. We're going to drop it onto alien atmosphere. And up here at transition completion, we're going to scrub it and we'll see that the wipe is working. So we are going to Option Alt click on this transition completion. And we are going to tie that to our minute hand rotation. I'm going to close these other guys up so we don't get confused. And then we are going to scrub through our comp, and we'll see that it's not it's sort of working, but it's sort of not working. And the problem is, is that our radial wipe, our, basically our rotation goes from 0 to 360, and our radial wipe is a 0 to 100 percent. So we need to uh, come up with a different solution to that. So what we are going to do is click on this arrow right here and we are going to choose interpolation linear t min max value 1 value 2 and type that in and what we're going to tell them is that we want 0 to 360 to be the same as 0 to 100. Let's click out of it and see what we, we've got. It's not working quite yet. And that's because we need to connect this T. So I'm, we're going to highlight T and then we're going to take the pick whip and we're going to bring it up to rotation. Click out of it. And now we see that it's working properly. The next thing that they want us to do is they want us this background to change color while the wipe is happening. And so we will type in HLS up here, which will give us uh, the color balance. And we are going to drag that onto Alien Atmosphere. And if we 
pull on the color balance, we see how it changes colors. Reset that. And so we're going to Option Alt click that bad boy. And we are going to select our inter interpolation where zero, two, three sixty is the same as zero. To 100. We'll select T and we will tie that to our rotation hand. And now it goes from blue to red. So go ahead and render that.